Welcome to episode 218 of Clarity Compressed. I'm Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. Today is actually tax day. So we're going to talk about paying your fair share. Trust me, not going to get political. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So in the U.S. today is tax day. Actually, I don't know when you're listening to this. When I'm recording it, it's tax day, which is basically the deadline where um, Americans file their tax return so they can either figure out how much tax they owe or how much uh, of a refund they're getting back. And, um, you know, so for some people, it's a good day. For some people, it's a tough day, but regardless, everyone has to do it. Everyone has to file, everyone has to pay taxes. It is just a way of life. And this conversation has been going on about who should pay their fair share. Now, um, I'm not going to talk about tax law. I'm not going to talk about the debate on how much billionaires should pay in taxes versus people who aren't billionaires or you know the common folk as we, I mean, I don't have a blue collar, but I do have a blue collar. You know what I'm saying? And what I really want to get into, though, is this concept of fairness. If anyone has ever had a kid or worked with kids or worked around kids, um, there's a phrase that is uttered very frequently that sounds something like this. Ready? That's not, and you know the word fair is what's going to follow that. That's not fair. That's not fair. And that's not fair is, you know, a lot of times when a, a child says it has to do with their perception of what they should be getting versus what someone else is getting or what else, what someone else has already gotten. And I think if we're honest um, and we kind of like spread this out a little bit, I think we all kind of have this uh, thing inside us that, that wants things to be fair, you know, that wants things to be equal or equivalent um, level the playing field. When we watch a sporting event, the only reason it's fun to watch a sporting event is because there are rules. And if there weren't rules, it wouldn't be any fun because anybody could do anything they wanted at any time. And it gets really uh, exciting, or I guess people get really riled up. I've gotten really riled up over this. When you feel like the rules aren't followed or they're ignored or a referee or an ump doesn't call the play fairly or doesn't see what happens. So, you know, what the other team gets is actually an advantage because of, a, you know, of a, a not following the rules, right? It's very upsetting. It's very agitating because there is this built-in mechanism where we want things to be fair. And if we have things to be fair, then we can play a good game. We can, you know, really understand the expectations of what's going forward and, um, you know, it, it's just rewarding to play, or at least at the very least, at the very least, it's not demotivating to play because we know there's a laying level playing field. But guess what? Here's the punchline. Life isn't fair. It just isn't fair. We actually, uh, my wife, Sarah, and I, we don't let our kids say it's not fair. Never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever. It, it just has always been one of our things that we're just, whenever our kids uttered, it's not fair, right? We would go in and tell them it's not fair. Life isn't fair. And sometimes somebody gets something that you don't get to have. Sometimes they get more than you get. Sometimes they don't get what they deserve and you get what you deserve. And that's a part of life. And what it does is actually, we think it builds resiliency into the kids and it actually um, builds this expectation that things aren't going to be fair. But guess what? You always get to choose how you react to it. And so you have to make the decisions moving forward that, that allow you to move forward without saying that's not fair, right? Now, I'm not blanket statementing this. I'm not, you know, I said I wasn't going to get political. I'm not saying there shouldn't be a level of fairness. There definitely should be because we all want to play a fair game, especially in business, especially with taxes, um, in sports, right? We need to, to set rules. But in most of life, and it's not fair, is not a good excuse. It's not a good way to think. Because if you think it's not fair, what you're doing is actually thinking about everybody else and you're relinquishing control of what you have. You're relinquishing control mostly, I think, of your mindset and your emotions because you're spending your time and energy worried about the other person instead of worrying about how you can actually do some work to improve your situation, how you can do some work um, 
to move on. And every minute you're focusing on it's not fair. You're focusing on all these things you can't control. And you are literally giving all of your best resources to the situation. You're giving your emotions, you're giving your mental capacity, right? You're giving your time, which you, in which you could be doing something else. And so the element of it's not fair, it's never really fair. It's never equal. It just never is because you could have to even, I mean, shoot, let's just talk about like natural abilities and natural gifts. When I, when I step in to a business situation or to a speaking situation or I don't know, to a parenting situation, whatever it is, guess what? It's never fair. The other person always has some level of advantage because of how they've been raised, because of the resources they've started out with, um, because of their health situation. Maybe I have the advantage, right? The fact that I don't have any major ailments, right? That's a major advantage in certain instincts, right? I might be taller than someone else and we're playing basketball. Guess what? Is that fair? No, it's not fair from a height standpoint. It's not equal. You can never have that level of equal. It's just impossible. The pursuit of it is impossible to be level all the time because people aren't level. People aren't, you know, people aren't the same. People have had different experiences and they have different resources and they've had different mentors and they have different mindsets. The DNA is just different. Some people find it very easy to wake up in the morning and be like, let's go, it's ready to go. Some people have a hard time waking up in the morning and have to do a lot of work to muster up the motivation to get, a, or get an early start. Sometimes it's just DNA. I always get jealous on the people I hear, hear about who can actually, um, you know, only sleep like five hours a night, four hours a night and wake up and feel amazing. So jealous. Now, I know some of that can be, you know, adapted and learned, but some people just naturally, naturally roll that way. Is that fair? Is that fair that they have extra hours in the day that I don't have? Is that fair? I don't know. What's fair? I have advantages over that. So, I thought tax day was a good day to talk about fairness because um, there's just never any real fairness in most things in life. And when we expect them to be fair, we again, I think we're spending our mental energy and time worrying about what's fair and what's not fair instead of spending time and energy on like, what do we have to give? What can we do to improve our situation? You know, is it fair that someone's post got 100,000 likes because the algorithm boosted it and it didn't boost yours? Is that fair? If, you, if we know one thing is that social media is not fair. And if you see some of the people that have made it, right? <laughs> You're like, I could have done that. I could have made that. That's dumb. Why does anybody watch that? Right? Again, slipping into the that's not fair mindset. So on this week, episode 218, it's tax week in the U.S. A lot of people talking about fairness around here. Well, I'm talking about fairness in a different way. Hope that we can get a little bit of perspective on what fairness actually is and what it actually doesn't, what focusing on fairness actually doesn't do for our, our situation. Now, in light of that, I hope that you put your time, energy, and effort into focusing and moving forward all of the people around you, not just yourself, but all the people around you so that their lives can be improved, that they can be encouraged, that they can know that they're cared about, right? Because even though we can't control fairness, we can control what we do to give other people the advantage. And I think in doing that, guess what? I think we get the advantage too. So I hope that's a little perspective, a little clarity for you. This shot this week, I will see you next week. We came to fight.